Within Whole Foods' clean-cut wooden aisles of lightly misted produce and neatly wrapped stacks of cheese lies a promise, one that is both marketing illusion and truth. It's a story that tells of a marketplace where consumers can shop and be assured that their food is farmed with both ethical and environmental considerations in mind. A place where organic food can be easily found. Whole Foods has in some ways become a main front for many to buy food that might be expensive, yes, but is curated with an unshakable commitment to sustainable agriculture. As a result, the Whole Foods store is a perfect avenue through which to explore the environmental implications of what it means to have a massive $49.4 billion global organic industry at our fingertips. But first, a quick history of organic agriculture in the United States. The idea of organic really took hold in the 1970s, when countercultural figures and magazines latched onto the words and teachings of J.I. Rodale's magazine, Organic Gardening and Farming. And within this time, the previously fluid definition of organic was made concrete via the Rodale Press Certification Program which defined organic practices as a system that sought good soil health through a lack of pesticides, artificial fertilizers, and antibiotics. Initially, these organic techniques were adopted by smaller farming operations. But as customers began to lean in towards organic in the 1990s and early 2000s, demand grew. And soon, smaller farms began to scale into massive operations like earthbound which relies on mechanized systems and the occasional use of organically approved pesticides to produce a large quantity of greens. So, as the organic food market grew, the regulations around what constituted organic relaxed. Now, the world of organic growing can be roughly split up into two areas. Larger, more industrialized farms that look more like a conventional farm and feed national and global markets, and smaller, less mechanized farms that rely on hand labor to feed local markets. This is where Whole Foods comes in. Whole Foods has bloomed as a result of the increased desire for organic produce and foods. It offers itself up as a one-stop shop for environmentally ethical produce. In many ways, it creates the illusion of local through interior design and smart branding, yet sources from global markets. This phenomenon is what Michael Pollan calls supermarket pastoral. But is this necessarily a bad thing? Well, it's a little complex. Whole Foods does supply grants to local producers and places a lot of organically grown food in reach of many people. However, these grants are a minuscule part of Whole Foods' overall impact on a global food system, especially since Amazon acquired them in June of 2017. Larger, more industrialized organic systems from all over the world make up a wider swath of Whole Foods' products. From an environmental standpoint, this doesn't bode well especially if it means flying produce from halfway across the world in order to supply organic watermelons in the dead of winter. In essence, Whole Foods still mirrors the very food system that organic growers were trying to escape in the 70s. A system that was global in scale and relied heavily on cross-country transportation and fossil fuels to satisfy demand in all seasons and locations. The core reason for this lack of change is that Whole Foods has essentially mainstreamed organic. And this is not the original organic ideal born out of the 1970s counterculture. Instead, it's a watered-down version that chooses frozen certified organic TV dinners over small-scale, locally grown produce cultivated with beyond organic practices. So where then is organic going? The schism between small and large organic practices seems to be growing bigger, and Whole Foods is on the front lines of shaping a new form of global industrialized organic. In opposition to this global approach, farmers are starting to latch on to a hyper-local vision. 
using backyards and urban spaces to supply restaurants and farmers markets just a few blocks away. Whole Foods now is merely the face of a new type of industrialized food culture. One that, instead of replacing or opposing our current food system, has just been swallowed by it. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a busy couple of months for me, so I haven't really been releasing as many videos as I'd like, but hopefully I'll be getting back on schedule soon. In the meantime, if you like what you just saw, click the subscribe button or support the channel financially on Patreon. That really helps me out a lot. Otherwise, I will see you next time.